Hello everyone. Welcome to Code Spot. I'm Abarna. I'm a front-end developer and today we are going to see the basics of Flexbox. In this tutorial, I have provided some exercises to practice along as we code. I have uploaded the exercises and its solution in the GitHub and I would mention all the links to it in the description box below. So, what is Flexbox? According to the definition, Flexbox is a one-dimensional layout method for laying out items in a row and columns. Items flex to fill additional space and shrink to fit into smaller spaces. Basically, to avoid all the problems and confusions between the floats and position layouts, Flexbox layout and grid layout has been introduced. Have you ever faced troubles with centering an element vertically and horizontally? Or placing all the child elements equal width and height inside a div container? Now that's a solution that Flexbox provides to us. Basically in Flexbox, there are just two main concepts that we need to understand. One is the flex container and the next is flex item. Using flex container, we'll see how to align all the items in the start, end, center, spread out, etc. And then we'll see how to lay out each items separately with flex item layout options. So let's get into the coding. I use brackets as a code editor. I have already created two files in index.html and the style.css. And we'll use a live preview option right here to see the output as we code. Before we see the output, let me explain the code once. I've mentioned a parent container and five child components inside this parent container. I've also given this some basic style sheet like height, width, margin, padding, background color, etc. Now let's see the output using the live preview option. As you can see, there are five div elements with one, two, three, four, five. For starters, and this is one of the basic Flexbox property called display flex. We set that to the parent container to enable the Flexbox layout options for the container as well as the items. As you can see, immediately all the elements come next to each other in a row. Alright, now we'll see the first property in the flex box, which is called flex direction. Flex direction lets us change the direction of how the elements are displayed. Here I'm going to set the flex direction to row, which is the default value. Now if I change it to column, the elements will be arranged in column wise. You can also set it to row reverse option, which would set all the elements in row but in reverse direction. And there is again the other option for column reverse, which set all the elements in column wise but in a reverse direction. So now we'll see a live example. So go to the exercise folder and open the first file in it. Using the live preview option, I'm going to open up this file. As you can see, I have uh, provided some basic CSS properties to these files. I'm using Flexbox properties. We'll try to change the layout of this website so it looks something like this. Pause this video right here and try to see if you can do it by yourself. Alright, for the starters, let's get into the HTML file and see what the container one contains. So the first task with the image and some text file is contained in a div class called container1. So first off, we need to set the display to flex under container1. 
and now they are horizontally aligned. Since in our output file it was reverse direction, we'll set it to row reverse. Now moving on to the container 2. So you have a main content and a side content 1, a side content 2, which is grouped under component 2. All this is grouped under comp container 2. So we'll go to the style.css and set the display to flex for container 2. As soon as we do that, both the things come next to each other row wise. Next property that we are going to learn is flex wrap. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add 5 more items to our HTML file. If I expand, they are in the column because I need to remove the flex direction property. Now that it is out of the way, we can see how the elements are aligned. But if I change the screen width, the elements are not coming down, like it's not getting wrapped. You need to scroll it horizontally to see all the elements. So in order to avoid this, we need to tell Flexbox that it is okay to wrap the elements. To do that, we need to set the flex wrap to wrap. Now, if I reduce the screen size, you can see all the elements comes below one another. By default, flex wrap contains a value called no wrap. Alright, the next property that we are going to learn in Flexbox is called Justify Content which will help us to align the items horizontally. I'll remove the extra 5 elements in our HTML file. And here I will mention justify content as center. As you can see, all the elements are placed in the center. By default, it is flex dot. You can have flex end to push all the elements over to the right side without being reversed. And then you can say space around which will give some space around and in between the elements. And then you have an option for space between that will give only space in between and no space around. This space here is due to the margin value that we have given. So once I delete that, you can see it clearly that there is no space around these elements. So now let's move on to the example number two. Open up the exercise folder and open the second exercise. I'll use the live preview option to open up the result file. And I'll go to the solution and open the resultant file, how it should look like. So this is how we need to get it done. So starting with the nav, nav bar. Go to the resultant file you have the navigation bar at the top towards your right and then in the center you have this images having space in between them and then at the end you have this image and a text which has space in between and also around them pause the video and try to do it by yourself
all right let's do it starting with a nav container so all the navigation are arranged in a container one div tag so remove the comment down here and set the display to flex as soon as you do that all the elements are arranged in row wise now you should say justify content flex end to push it all the way towards the right moving on to the next one where the images are set so let's go down there and see container 2 which has all the images so let's go down to the container remove the code set the display to flex we'll say justify content space between now that will provide space in between all the images now with the final div container we'll first set the display to flex and then say justify content space around because we want space in between and also around them Alright, the next Flexbox property that we are going to learn today is Align Items which helps us to align the items vertically. Let's go back to our example and here I have to set a height property for the parent container for this to work. And I'm also going to give it a background color so you can see it more clearly. Now let's set the align items to flex end. It will push all the elements towards the end vertically. By default, the value is flex start, which is at the top. You can also set it to center to make it vertically center. There's another property called stretch. Again, this won't work if you have set a default height in your child component. So once I take that out, all the items are stretched out completely. Now I'll mention the height property again and combine both align items and justify content to center the element both vertically and horizontally. I'll also give this the margin property so we can see it more clearly. All right, now let's see an example. Go to the exercise folder and open the exercise number three. I'll open up the solution file and see the output that we are going to do it. So this is the page that we are trying to achieve and this is the file that we have starting with the first five elements if you see in the output file we need to center them horizontally and align them towards the end so in our HTML file We'll take up the container one and set the display to flex. As soon as we do that, all the elements are arranged row wise. Now I'll set the align items to flex end. So it will be at the bottom end. So as you can see, it is at the bottom end. Now let's make it in the center position by setting justify content to center. 
so it will be set in the center position horizontally all right moving on to the second one as you can see all the elements are arranged in the center both vertically and horizontally i think this is quite easy go to container to remove the comments and say display flex align items center that is centered vertically now justify content center it will center all the elements horizontally moving on to container 3 here if you see all the elements seems to be arranged in the center so let's go ahead and try that let me set the display to flex and set the align items to center and justify content to center if you see this this is not how we wanted it if you see the output file it seems like all the elements text are placed in the same line to achieve this kind of layout we need to set the align items to a value called baseline that lets all the items aligned towards their baselines the next property that we are going to learn about flexbox is called align content that is almost similar to align items so to demonstrate that i'm going to set the flex wrap to wrap as you can see there are a lot of space between the first line and second line so now i'll set the align content to flex end all the elements are pushed towards the end but the gap towards the first and second line is very smaller so the align content basically works if you have multiple lines now if i remove the height value and say stretch all the element gets stretched out you can mention it center to mention it vertically center but with little space between first and the second lines moving on to another example go to the exercise folder and open the folder exercise 4 this is the file that we have to align and lay out the entire file is under the container the container has two items item one and item two the left one and the right one so first we need to set the display flex for the container one now both the elements come next to each other row wise now let's work on the individual elements in the aside section so let's go to the index.html and all the elements are under container 1-1 there is this image and a line of text so let's go and locate the container 1-1 in our style file and remove the comments and set display to flex as soon as we do that all the elements appear one next to each other now we need to arrange all the div elements inside the aside section so all the div elements are under an item called item 2 so we'll locate that and set the display to flex for this item as soon as we do that all the elements come in row wise so we need to mention flex direction as column so they appear column wise to have space in between we need to say justify content space around so there is space in between and space around all the elements so with that we have completed all the parent class flexbox layout options
Now let's learn all about the flex items. The first flex box property that we are going to see is called order. This will help to order each and every child elements individually. Go to your exercise folder and open the last exercise, exercise number 5. And starting with the basics, let's set the display flex to the container. And now if you see, all the elements are completely jumbled. Let's go to the index.html and you can see the first item has been placed in the second place, second item is placed in the first place and so on. So to order this, we don't need to replace items in the HTML file. We can change the order easily in our style.css by using order property. So here I'll set the order to 1 because that's the first item and order 2 for second item, order 3 for third item and order 4 for fourth item and they are arranged properly now. The next property that we are going to learn is called flex. To demonstrate this I'm going to create three div class with random text in it. I'm just speeding up the whole process here. Let's also remove the basic height and width for this property so it can be set to auto. As you can see the second item is spread out because the content is bigger. Now in the HTML file if I increase the text more you can see that it is spread out. As you can see now the content has increased so the second item has expanded even more. But if you do not want this kind of effect you can set the flex property to 1 so all the elements all the child elements would be in equal width no matter what their content is the next property that we are going to learn is called flex grow property to demonstrate this i'm going to give an id for each and every div elements for the second component i'm going to mention flex grow too that means the second item would be twice as size as the rest of the items. With this property, we can manage the width size however we want. Moving on to the next property, flex basis. Flex basis is similar to width except for one difference. Flex basis allows us to shrink when the screen size has been reduced. So I'll make some minor CSS changes to demonstrate this. Give it some border. Now I'll change the width to flex basis property. If you see, the basic width of the elements is 130, but if I reduce it to smaller screen, the width gets smaller. This works unless if you have mentioned a min width property. If you have mentioned a min width property, then the minimum width would always be 70 pixels, no matter the screen size is. Now, if I remove the width property, you can see the flex basis works perfectly fine. It shrinks to fit in into the smaller spaces. Finally, we will learn about align self property in Flexbox. 
Align Self is used to align each and every element in the flex box. So here I'm going to take the second item and say Align Self Flex End. It will set the second element towards the bottom end. Another example, I'm going to set the fifth element to the center position. It will center the fifth element vertically. So basically this works vertically. With that, the Flexbox basics are completed. Using this basic tutorial, try to build a website like this. In this website, you have some social icons, a heading, navigation bar, breaking news. You have a mark you tag here. You have some feature, latest news, our pics. It's all arranged properly. And then when you come down, you have world, sports and in a side section. And if you come further down, you have about section, Instagram, subscribe and then a copyright information at the bottom. Try to do this on your own. I have uploaded the code for this file in the GitHub. I would mention the links down below. Try to do it by your own. In the next tutorial, we'll see how to build the website just like that. Please hit the thumbs up button if you liked this kind of video and let me know in the comments down below if you, uh, if you want me to make more such tutorials like this where I have um, exercises and solutions, live examples etc. And don't forget to subscribe to Codespot for more such videos. Thanks for watching.